welcome back to Fairies Tutorials and to another episode of diet related health problems. Now, based on this instrument that I'm holding in my hand, are you able to tell what today's episode is about? Which diet related health problems are we going to look are we going to look at, right? You got it right, guys. We'll be looking at hypertension. Stay tuned. Yes, guys, we'll be looking at hypertension. Focus points. Now, in today's session, we'll be looking at an overview of hypertension, the impact on one's life, and also the causes, treatment, and prevention for hypertension. Now, let us start with the overview. Now, guys, everyone has blood pressure. Do you agree that you have blood pressure? Yes as blood pressure is the force of the blood against the walls of the arteries. No, the condition of hypertension is when the force of that blood is too high and it's, it's going rapidly, right? No, then that condition would be considered as hypertension. Good. Hypertension itself does not cause symptoms. Hence, it is referred to as the silent killer when a person's blood pressure rises beyond certain accepted levels and remains constantly high it becomes an illness called hypertension or high blood pressure now guys let us look at the different ranges of blood pressure so normal blood pressure is anything between 91 to 120 over 61 to 80 that is normal blood pressure or we can classify it as an ideal blood pressure now blood pressure between 120 over 80 and 139 over 89 is called hypertension a sigma manometer is the instrument used to take blood pressure Causes of hypertension may be made when one or both readings are high. And the readings that you get from the sigma manometer are the systolic measurements and also the diastolic measurements, right? So the systolic measurement refers to the pressure as the heart pumps blood around the body. And that measurement is given first. Now, the diastolic measurements or readings refers to the pressure as the heart relaxes and refills with blood. And that measurement is given second. Awesome. Now, let us look at what you have retained. Good. Now, what is blood pressure? Why is hypertension considered a silent killer? What is hypertension? Is there a difference between blood pressure and hypertension, guys? No. What is the name of the instrument used to test blood pressure? What's the range for normal blood pressure? And blood pressure between 120 over 80 and 139 over 89 is called what? Good. And what's the difference between systolic and diastolic measurements? Good? Awesome. Now, let us look at how hypertension impacts one's life. Good? So based on this image, you see blindness, you see kidney failure, you see heart attack, you see heart failure, and also stroke. Good. Now, let us look at them in more details, right? Good. So hypertension is a major health problem. 
mainly because it is often without symptoms until, until it finally damage certain critical organs good so that is why it is important for you to routinely get a visit to the doctor and also to test your blood pressure now let us look at the impact in details now persons who are hypertensive have a higher risk of developing the following diseases than people with normal blood pressure good so we speak of damaged eye vessels good as you can see in the in this image here the blood vessels or the eye vessels there are inflamed or damaged good next arthrosclerosis and this is where plaque with fiber there's a buildup of materials which is maybe some form of uh, calcium other minerals and and um also fat that is built up in the arteries and guess what it causes a narrowing of the artery and guess what happened let's look let's look at this let's analyze this image good so first we have here pluck with fibrous cap right and then what the cap ruptures and when the cap ruptures what will happen a blood clot form or there's no blood passing through the arteries at all good so it is important for us to exercise watch our portions eaten exercise and to limit fatty foods or foods that are rich in carbohydrates that would eventually store it as fat good so we have to balance our energy intake versus energy expanded good so it is very important so when there's a build up in the arteries the blood now has to force its way through and therefore the condition of hypertension is is real good the next thing we have now is a is heart attack now depending if there's a blockage or a build up of the artery right if there's if there's this build up that happens in the the coronary artery then there is a possibility the person will have a heart attack for once there's not enough of the oxygenated blood transporting through the arteries leading to the the heart muscle then the person can have a heart attack similarly with stroke if there is a blockage at, at the cerebral artery then there is also the possibility of the person having stroke because there is no oxygenated blood flowing through to the brain other conditions include enlarged heart and also kidney damage and as you can see in these diagrams you can see what a normal kidney looks looks like versus to the kidney that is affected right so in the healthy kidney you have healthy functioning taking place it is at the proper size and also low urine protein now for the the, the the kidney that is damaged you notice that it has a granular surface so the surface is kind of grainy decreased function it is not functioning well it decreases in size and it all persons also have high protein content in their urine now checkpoint guys i want you to describe three impacts of hypertension on health and those are those are what we just discussed right so we speak of heart attack stroke damaged kidneys enlarged heart damaged eye vessels among among others right so you're supposed to know you're able to describe three impacts of hypertension on health now now that we know what is hypertension and the causes and also the impact on one's body let us look at the more causes in details so we speak of environment right so is your environment um encourage inactivity are you stressed are you obese do you use uh do you smoke your age Things like salt, how much salt intake, sodium intake, or alcohol. All of those factors play a role in, 
in causing someone to become hypertensive good we also look at genes and also race and gender awesome now let us look at some lifestyle measures to treat and prevent hypertension good now let us go so we look at stress management good we also look at the type of foods that we intake also very importantly to exercise and to manage weight manage your weight cut down on the salt limit alcohol and also to stop smoking good now a critical step in preventing and treating high blood pressure is a healthy lifestyle you can lower your blood pressure with the following lifestyle changes as we said before losing weight if you're overweight or obese quitting smoking eating a healthy diet including the dash diet now the acronym dash stands for dietary approaches to stop hypertension so this involves eating more fruits and vegetables and low-fat dairy products and also less saturated and total fats good now reducing the amount of sodium in your diet to less than 1500 milligrams a day if you have high blood pressure good healthy adults should try to limit their sodium intake to no more than 2300 milligrams a day and that is about guys one teaspoon of salt good can't overemphasize getting regular exercise such as brisk walking for at least 30 minutes a day several days a week very important to limit alcohol to two drinks a day for men or one drink a day for women now the, uh, otherwise from the lifestyle measures to treat and prevent uh, hypertension persons may also have to take prescribed medications now checkpoint outline at least four measures to treat and prevent hypertension Go also you've made it to the end of the video don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also to like and share with persons who you know will find this video useful thank you for making it very stupid.